Hey everybody, I'm back with a quick video. I wanted to show you a couple new clutches that I've hatched out. Uh, I've got a ton of stuff hatching right now. Um, I mean, I probably had like 50 clutches hatched in the last two weeks. I'm just getting slammed with babies. And I just want to mention, it's kind of funny how every single breeding season or hatching season is all kind of its own thing. Some years I have eggs incubating all 12 months out of the year. Other years I have several months off in the winter where I don't have anything incubating. So it's just kind of weird the way it changes from one year to the next. Um, I know it, as of June 1st this year, I was down, I think it was 80 clutches, maybe it was even more than that. But anyway, I was down a significant number of clutches from the previous year. And then during the month of June, I just got slammed with clutches. And right now I'd say I'm back on track or maybe even a little bit ahead of last year. So it's just weird the way, you know, some seasons start earlier, some seasons end earlier, uh, some seasons just, I don't know, they're all just different. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that, um, that, you know, every season can be a little bit different. Uh, but this is a busy one. Like everything is hitting me kind of all at once right now. Uh, so it's been pretty exhausting, but uh, also lots of fun. So many cool things hatching. Um, so, and I've got some really cool stuff coming up here that I'll be able to show you too. A lot of uh, new uh, clown combos and things like that. But today I want to show you, I have three clutches here. And the first one I'm going to show you is from a Spectre double hat lavender albino pie bred to a yellow belly pie. Um, I just wanted to make a super stripe pie. Okay, so this is a regular pie. Really nice colors on it, but uh, no yellow belly, no specter in that as far as I can tell. Actually, I shouldn't say that it's, there's no chance. I mean, it, it's definitely not a yellow belly pied. I don't really know what a specter pied looks like. Um, you know, the yellow belly pieds usually have real jaggedy edges to the pattern. Um, I'm not sure if the specter pied would have that or not. So might have to hang on to this one. I'm not really sure, but uh, it, I think it's just a normal pied. Okay, so then I hatched out these two. And I believe that these are both super striped pieds. Now, unfortunately, they're really high white, so you can't really see a whole lot of pattern, but that pattern right there looks pretty super striped like. And also look at how yellow their heads are and the neck area and also this, these patches here. That's not just a yellow belly pied for sure, and I don't think that that would just be a specter pied either. So I actually wish these were lower white, but I'm pretty happy with how they turned out color-wise. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to produce more of these. I think I've got one more uh, female yellow belly pied that I bred to the same specter double head dreamsicle. So I'm not sure if she's gonna go or not this year yet, but I'll probably try it again next year too. Just wanna see if I get more of these or if I get some that have more pattern. Okay, so these two will most likely be holdbacks, of course. Okay, the next clutch that I have to show you, actually let's stick with the yellow belly complex stuff. This clutch is from a pastel Mardi Gras bred to a banana yellow belly. Mardi Gras is, of course, the yellow belly, asphalt, um, and then um, NG, and then mine has pastel in it as well. So this is a banana, yellow belly, or asphalt. This one is a pastel, I think that's an NG. It's kind of got the head pattern of an NG there. And it's also yellow belly or asphalt. And actually I haven't sexed these yet. These came from a female banana yellow belly. So these could be males or females. And if they're males, they'd be female makers. That's a female. That one's a female too. So that's good, uh, good holdback value. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them both or either of them, but at least with being females, it's definitely a possibility. Okay, then the next one that I got here, here is an ivory. And I'm not sure, this is the first time I've ever actually really looked at these real closely, but there's there's quite a bit of pattern through there. I don't know if this is an Enchi ivory, 
could even possibly have banana too. So I'm not really sure about that one yet. This is the one that I was really excited about. So that is the Banana Freeway. And I think that it's a Mardi Gras as well. So I think it has Enchi in it. I'm not sure on that though. I'm gonna have to research what, what that combo would look like if it has Enchi in it. And there's the phone again. So let's see what the sex of this one is. That's a female too. Might as well check this one. It's the only one I haven't checked yet. Male. So one male, three females in this clutch. I really, really like that one though. Okay, let's move on to the next clutch. I gotta keep this one short. I still have uh, about a dozen clutches. I gotta get set up in the individual tubs in here. Okay, this one is a one that I'm really excited about. I love leopard genetic stripe stuff, absolutely love it. This clutch is from a pastel leopard hat genetic stripe bred to a pastel genetic stripe. We got some nice pastel leopard hat genetic stripes in there. And there was, let's see, a pair of pastels and a pair of super pastels in there as well, but I just wanted to focus this on just the leopard combos. So those are both pastel leopard hat genetic stripes. Okay, and then here is a leopard genetic stripe. Love that. I love those nice thick black stripes running down either side of the body. So I hatched the, uh, my first leopard genetic stripes hatched last year and the male is about ready to breed now. The female still has a bit to go yet, but the male will be used for the 2021 breeding season and he still looks pretty awesome. Um, and I'm gonna try to make a lot of different leopard genetic stripe combos. And these are the first combos that I've ever made. Here's a pastel leopard genetic stripe. And here's another pastel leopard genetic stripe. I thought I had hit on pastel leopard genetic stripes in the past. Um, I actually kept a couple back just in case. Um, I they didn't have like this type of this much black striping running down them but you know since i'd never produced it before i didn't really know how color morph genes um, will impact the leopard and it turns out that i didn't hit on the pastel leopard genetic stripes until this clutch here and this year yet i have chance to hit on banana leopard genetic stripes and um, fire and firefly so I think possibly even more than that, but those are the main ones I can think of right now. So anyway, I have several more chances. I really want to see what a banana version of that looks like. Uh, I think that's going to ha have really, really dark purple stripes down either side of the body and probably a nice orange color overall. So I really like genetic stripes and I love putting leopard into it. Anything that can make that stripe really nice and bold like that is what I want to do with that project. All right, well, that's all I have to show today. Sorry, I don't have more right now, but I've got a lot of stuff that I'm just waiting to shed. So I'll be back most likely next week. I think I'm getting into a pretty good groove uh, doing these videos once a week now. So hopefully I'll be back next week to show you some other awesome stuff. In the meantime, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to see these guys are slowly away I'm here. Check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and also make sure to like my Facebook page and my Instagram page as well. You'll see a lot of this stuff on there before you see it in a video. So I will be back soon, and take care. Stay safe, everybody.